Voltron just got upgraded. So I took Voltron, which died an untimely death not long ago, and I upgraded it to a Tune Class car. Not just a Tune Class car, but a BMAX style car. So this BMAX style car has certain features on it, such as reinforced plates in the front, they're super glued together, reinforced rear plates in the back, so they're also super glued together. We also have nine millimeter rollers in the front and rear end. Hear how they spin, they spin so smoothly. So nice, very, very nice, and they all spin like that too. So yeah, totally awesome. We also have low frix tires, on here on 26 millimeter wheels. We also have side damper weights with carbon side stays. We also have an atomic tune engine, which was broken in and it gives us 32,000 RPM. So totally awesome. This gives us 30 kilometers per hour, very fast. Right here, this one gives us 27 kilometers per hour because it's got smaller wheels, but this can handle a lot of tighter corners, right? So depending on the course, if it's a technical course, this might win out, but this is really good for both cornering and speed. So we have here a really, really fast car. Now, one of the things that I decided to do here is something that's very unconventional, something that I've never seen on any other car before. And while some people may claim, oh yeah, well, I've used this technique before, they really haven't. And what I call it is the palm sandwich roller. So the palm sandwich roller is washer, palm, and washer, and that's sandwiched together. That's why I call it a palm sandwich or a palm burger. And that also acts as a roller. So this is a very tiny roller up top so that when this hits, the side wall of your track. It's going to be super, super smooth. Now, before I had these little ball stabilizers on the top here and the top here, and it turned out that every time it hit the side wall, it was dragging, it was slowing down the vehicle. So what I decided was, we need some metal here. We definitely need some metal here, and that's what's going to cause this car to continue to maintain its speed even when it hits the sidewall. So pretty cool. This is something that I thought about for a while. Now the only negative right now that I see here is if it does tilt over a little too much, it's going to drag this little rubber piece along the sidewall and then slow down the car just a smidge. But hopefully it'll never get to that point where it tilts that far to hit the sidewall with this rubber thing. So pretty, pretty cool. So these spin infinitely. How did I get these to spin so well? Well, believe it or not, electronics cleaner really saves the day here. I did not even have to dunk this in the usual lighter fluid wash or anything like that. You don't need that with these big nine millimeter rollers. You don't need that with the 11 millimeter rollers. You can basically clean them with electronics cleaner and you'll get infinitely spinning rollers just like this. So awesome and so cool. So inside, there's an atomic tuned engine, pretty cool. We have all the usual parts for FMA chassis here. Pretty cool. We have a screw in the motor cap right here to secure this so that it doesn't fly off. We have enough weights on the side and the rear to keep this vehicle down so that the back doesn't lift up too much when it does its jumps. The reason why I decided to turn this into a tune class or above vehicle is because on my box stock version of this car, this here, the roller mount, cracked. So I had to do something with this car. I couldn't just dump it, I couldn't just throw it out. So I decided to convert it into a tune class vehicle. And I got some inspiration from this one. This is Vulture. This is my previous BMAX car. It's a BMAX mock frame and it's a pretty fast car. And the rear, as you see here, we've got these little 13 millimeter rollers. And here we've got 11 millimeter rollers followed by a 13 underneath. So it's got this, this pretty cool, but it's not super smooth. That's the big problem with this. As you see here, these were not shaved. Like a lot of people, when they do open class rollers, they decide to shave this down a little bit. These were actually worn over time. So because I've done lots of racing with this, this has been scraping against the sidewalls of tracks very, very often. And basically it's shaved off all of the, the paint. So this is like a natural shaving of the roller. Pretty cool. So yeah, this is like totally race experienced, so to say. And I've got a lot more weight on this car than I do on this car. This is 139 grams. This one is 127 grams. So it's a little lighter, it's faster, it's got bigger wheels, it's going to beat this car in a race. And I've already tested that. So so yeah, this car is totally blows that car out of the water. And it totally blows a lot of open class cars out of the water. So we're going to find out how well it does this weekend. Pretty, pretty cool. All of these upgrades make for a totally awesome car. So if you like this video, please slam the like button, subscribe to my channel. You'll see more videos just like this one. Until next time, everybody, see you, bye.